today's lesson, area of a circle. We already learned about circumference in the last one. Now we're looking about area, the amount of space inside. If you take a look, we have area is going to be equal to pi times radius squared. The way to write this out, oops, there we go. Pi times radius squared looks like that. And um, one thing that's really important on this is that, remember in PEMDAS, we always use exponents before we multiply. And so in this case, you need to make sure that you're solving the exponent part first. You square the thing first. Wow, my writing is not so good today. Uh, there it is. Having some trouble with the pen. Okay, so remember to solve the exponents before multiplying. That way um, you don't get an incorrect answer. All right, so we're going to go straight to our first example. And we've got some pizza here. Remember I told you to write out what the radius and the diameter are, um, especially once you have both problems in your wheelhouse, because now at this point, it's easy to mix up which one you need. So write down what the radius and diameter are before you start, and then also write down the formula you need as you need it. So here, if our radius is seven inches, then that means my diameter is gonna be twice that, which is 14. And so for my area, it's going to be pi times radius squared. Ooh, these are tough to write on here. Um, in this case, 3.14. And my radius right here, 7 squared. Again, order of operations. I have to use my exponent first. So it's going to be 3.14 times 49, because 7 times 7 is 49. And... Then we multiply those out. Answer becomes 153.86. And our units are in inches. We're talking about area, so we have a squared there on our units. All right, second example. Now we have a Ferris wheel. And just a little vocabulary word that gets used often with these is revolution. To have one revolution means to go one time completely around the circle. And so in this case, that would be our diameter if we talked about revolutions. Um, in this one, we're just going to be looking what's the amount of space inside, even though it is a Ferris wheel. So here, it tells us our diameter is 100 feet, which means that my radius must be half that, which is 50. Again, I want to write down my formula. Area equals pi times radius squared. And then we fill in the numbers we know. 3.14 for pi. Radius, in this case, is our 50. And I'm going to square that. Always start by squaring first. So I'm going to do 50 times 50 is 2,500. And then I'm going to take that and multiply it by 3.14 we end up with the amount of space inside this Ferris wheel is 7,850 feet squared. There it is, the area. All right, we've got one last one. And I told you on the last video that you could also, instead of multiplying by 3.14, just leave pi as the symbol pi and multiply by that. So let's try that on our last problem here. Um, this one, they want us to find both the area and the circumference. So on this one, it tells us our diameter is 26, means our radius is half that, or 13. And so now my circumference is going to be pi times diameter. And in this case, our diameter is 26. There it is right there. So it's going to be 26 times pi. And again, we are not going to change that to 3.14, so my answer is going to be 26 pi millimeters. For area, our formula is pi times radius squared. In this case, we'll end up with pi times, and the radius is 13 squared. Square my 13, I get 169. Keep my pi as pi in this one. And I get 169 pi millimeters, and my 
area is going to be squared. So that's another example using just pi as pi. So there it is, finding area, circumference of a circle. Hopefully you got it all down. See you later.